Hi, it's Michael from Men's Finest. And in this video, we're going to style the rugby guys. One of my rugby friends asked me whether we could go over some tips how to style a rugby guy. And we're going to do that now whilst watching Six Nations. One of the first things that I always say to athletic guys, rugby guys, anyone who's been going to the gym a lot, is play on your strength. If your strength is legs, uh, ass, shoulders, chest, arms, whatever, try to expose that. Try to show to the world that this is exactly what you've got. Because believe me, many of us normal people would like to have your shoulder, your biceps, your legs or your ass. So give us something of that. Watch that video if you are a big guy, strong athletic guy and you're gonna learn some fantastic tips and tricks of how to attract women. One of the first thing is trousers. You are going for no break or half break. Uh, I'm gonna show you that here. So you can see on the picture that um, a guy has got um, a bit of a break when um, the trousers meet the shoe. That's what we wanna go for, or you just go for no break. You can show a bit of ankle, uh, it's absolutely fine. You could also uh, wear no socks uh, because that is also uh, looking pretty good. Tip number two in general is go for fitted not skinny, so slim fit, fitted, but no skinny. Don't forget that the fabric of suit doesn't stretch as much as your perhaps uh, jeans or chinos may. So uh, so be careful there, don't go too skinny. I would, I would say fitted, but not skinny. Going up, you have to make sure that your chest fits you good. So whether that's a waistcoat or a, a suit jacket, make sure that fits you properly there. Rest like your stomach or you know any anything that happens below here could be fitted by the tailor. So if you've got a proper V shape because you're athletic here, uh, make sure that all the uh, right measurements uh, and all right fitting is done here in the chest because the stomach can be then easily trimmed in. Uh, so you're gonna have that nice V shape. So I would start with the chest. Chest is the most important thing. And England has just scored 21-16. Make sure that your lapels are proportional to the rest of your body. Meaning, if you've got a big shoulders, make sure you've got a big lapels as well. It's gonna sit nicely on your shoulder. You don't wanna have too much fabric between the end of your lapel and the end of your shoulder. You know, I'm not a big shoulder guy, as you can tell, I haven't got a big chest. But because the lapels covers nearly more than half of the material that is here. That's probably a, a good rule of thumb. Go for something bigger here. So it doesn't go very skinny, it doesn't look silly, it doesn't look like you just turned 15 and you're trying to impress all the girlfriends in your high school. Right, something that is gonna catch people's eye and is gonna catch people's attention. So they can actually go and speak to you, not because of your fantastic personality, but also because of what you wear in and how you wear in it. So now I'm gonna show you some pictures of the guys that I like. And also some of the pictures that I don't like. The game just finished, 16 to 21 to England. Well done, England. And you can see all those pictures that I don't like. Have got a very skinny lapels, uh, the fit isn't great. I mean, you've got the perfect body. Your body is like a sculpture, you're like a Greek god. Why wouldn't you want to expose this? It's insane. If you've got nice big arms, you can fold your sleeves. There are a few methods of how to do it. I'll show you the easier one. You basically roll up your sleeve like so. Nothing complicated, right? It's fine. Make sure that you always go over your elbow so it doesn't stay here. It goes over your elbow. The other one, we're gonna do a slightly different method. What we're gonna do here is, um, if you had any interesting contrasting material here um, underneath. I've seen those shirts, they are kind of okay as well. 
what you could do is pull this all the way up like so so you just pull in showing that contrasting material if you had any and then you fold it again so then you sort of folded it like that so what happens is you've got that contrasting material shown here as well as your white shirt um, showing there as well so you've got like a two material showing and that still allows your big guns to be exposed as well but there you have it some tips for rugby guys on how to style a guy with massive chest massive legs and a nice peachy ass if you like that please subscribe to our channel See you soon.